hello and welcome to this video in which I, I discuss different uh, ports and protocols. We're going to discuss HTTP and HTTPS. We're going to discuss NTP and we're going to discuss SQL. We're going to start with uh, HTTP. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Uh, it's defined in RC2068. Um, and if you had an old school browser like Lynx, it would just download the text. It wouldn't download the uh, graphics. But Mosaic was released in 1993, and Mosaic and its progeny have um, a what you see is what you get uh, type of display. Um, this protocol enables text, graphics, multimedia, and other material to be downloaded from an HTTP HTTP server. HTTP defines what actions can be requested by clients and how servers should answer those requests. Um, and it uses TCP port 80. Um, in this protocol, clients make requests on this port to servers running the HTTP, HTTP server applications. Um, Files created in a special language such as hypertext markup language are returned to the client and the connection is closed. So it's basically, it's, um, it um, exists as a series of get and put um, interactions. So this created a problem. Um, so we're going to hypertext protocol secure, otherwise known as HTTPS. Um, so the problem with HTTP is that it it was um, it was sent in the clear. It was considered insecure and is often replaced by HTTPS. Um, for some operations such as e-commerce, this method ex to exchange information is unsuitable. The solution is HTTPS, which encrypts the information sent between the client and the host. Um, for HTTPS to be used, both the client and server must support it. So you must have a, a, a server uh, supporting HTTPS, and you must have a browser that supports HTTPS. All popular browsers now support HTTPS, as do web server products such as Microsoft Internet Information Services, Apache, and almost all other web server applications that provide sensitive applications. Um, and this exists on TCP uh, 443, and URL port 80 is, uh, so if you type in HTTP colon slash slash some website, you'll get, uh, so, uh, Tra uh, transmit over port 80 if you type in HTTPS colon slash slash it will transmit over port 443 um, both HTTP and HTTPS use a uniform resource locator to or URL to determine what page should be downloaded from the remote server um, and HTTPS makes a secure connection by connecting via a secure protocol such as secure sockets layer, the old school SSL, or transport secu layer security, TL otherwise known as TLS, that's the new school uh, uh, protoc protocol, um, and using an encrypted certificate. Clients connecting to this port will be assigned a random dynamic port. Uh, most sites should use HTTPS port 443. Those that aren't should be avoided. Um, and so we're going to go into this uh, another protocol, Network Time Protocol. This uh, exists on the application layer of the um, OSI 7 layer model. It exists on the application layer of the OSI 4 layer model. Um, it's defined in RC 958 and it facilitates the communication of time between systems. 
um, which is important because um, it it can like if if it doesn't know what the time is, um, a lot of things can go wrong. Um, certificates may may be expired because it can't tell the time between the systems. Um, it um, it um, it communicates via UDP user datagram datagram protocol on port one twenty three. And then we have a, our last protocol is going to be SQL. This covers like three, basically three variants, SQL, SQLnet, and MySQL. The SQL database server uses TCP 1433 by default, while Oracle's SQLnet uses TCP port 51521. And the default port for MySQL is TCP port Three three zero six. The most common language protocol used to speak to databases is structured query language. Um, SQL uses allows you uh, queries to be configured in real time and pass to database servers. This flexibility causes a major vul vulnerability when it isn't implemented securely. SQ and uh, as you may have guessed. SQL is the norm for commercial database software. No SQL, a non-relational database, is relatively new to databases that does not use SQL. Um, so that does it for uh, the ports of protocols HTTP, HTTPS, NTP, and SQL. And I'll see you in the next 